In my today's lesson, I will teach you four things. 1. What Biopython is. 2. What sub-packages are there inside Biopython package. 3. Methods to find packages, modules and functions in Biopython. 4. Difference between a package and a module. So let's begin. Assalamu alaikum. Let's see what Biopython is. Biopython is a set of freely available tools for biological computation written in Python by an international team of developers. The name of the Biopython package is actually Bio. So you type it as Bio, not Biopython. If you open this package, you will find sub packages and modules. And then if you open the sub packages, they may contain 1. Only sub sub packages, or 2. There may be both sub sub packages as well as modules. And 3. There are some sub packages which will only contain modules. And you know, what are inside a module? Module is actually a file that contains code of different functions. You can use those functions after importing those modules in your Python. How do you know what sub packages and modules are there inside bio package? I am going to tell you two methods. Number one, manual method, in which you go to the folder where your bio package is installed, and there you see all the sub packages and modules inside bio package. Method number two, in this method you use help command on bio package. This will show you all the sub packages and modules, etc. Inside bio package. This is the whole list of sub packages, modules, and other files that you will find inside bio package. These enclosed names are called packages, or you may call them sub package because they are inside the main package bio. Rest of the files include modules and other files. So you might be wondering about the difference between package and modules. You can call them level of organization. The first level of organization is the functions. Functions are just organized Python codes which can be used to carry out different operations in Python. These functions are written in a file and are saved with .py extension. This file is called a module. A single module may contain one or many functions. These modules or files are then placed inside a common folder which is called a package. If you create several such folders and put them in another folder, then that main folder become your super package. It depends what you call them. If you call the main folder as your package then the folders inside will be your sub packages. Or you can call the main folder as your super package and the folders inside, simply packages. Let's take an example sub package, called, align. Align is a sub package inside bio package. This align folder contains a module called align info. It contains two sub sub packages. Applications and substitution matrices. These may be called packages or sub packages. Depends on your choice. There is another file, underscore aligners. Now let me tell the last thing. How to find what functions are there inside a module. For this purpose, just import the desired module by using import command. Then type the name of that module and put a dot. All the functions inside that module will appear if you are using a proper IDE, for example, Paizo. Now let me show you them practically. In this method, first go to C drive. Now open users folder. Go to the folder which is usually your account name. Here my account name is Dell. Now open app data. Go to local. Now go to programs folder. Open Python folder. Then open this folder. Open your lib folder.
Open site packages. Here is your bio package. Open bio. Here is the list of sub packages and modules inside bio package. Let me zoom in. All these are sub packages. These are modules and some other files. Let me open the align sub package. Here is the list of sub sub packages and modules. You can open any of the sub sub packages to see the modules inside it. In this method first import the package bio. Now run this command. Scroll up to package content or use Ctrl F to find package content. Here is the list of sub packages and modules inside the bio package.